Well, here I am in the roof. Um, yesterday, I pulled it through from the front of the house and it's now roughly in position. Um, something unexpected happened yesterday. Don't know whether it was the heat or just too much work. Um, I kind of like started feeling ill and kind of collapsed on the job. Um, went home and passed out for about five hours or so, I think it was. Um, still feeling tired today, so I just overworked myself. Um, and more than my medication could handle. So the next step is to like clean up, get the winch and the battery out of here and remove all the timbers I've put underneath for it to slide on and for us to sit on and get it in the exact right position and get it mounted up on the wall at the end and at this end of course and then uh, start drilling and, and, and mounting mounting the uh, battens to the beam um, as you can see I've increased the structure of the roof quite significantly um, I'll put more of those in that'll, once the beam's in place um, I'll put, I'll put an upright at every every truss, giving the roof more strength than just uh, an angled tom. Like toms on an angle like that, you're not going to do a lot. But I think bracing up like that and turning the roof into a truss system is probably much stronger. Um. So. I'll show you when I finish lining it up and and I'm ready to start making this beam part of the building. I don't know if I'll get around to it today depending on how I feel. I'm going to take it easy. Even though taking it easy is not in my vocabulary, I'm going to have to learn it as I get older. I, like a bull in a china shop. I, I just once I'm up and doing something I give it a hundred percent and I'm not a hundred percent anymore so okay so that's my next job is to clean up tidy up and get this beam mounted up in the right place and then mount the ceiling to it wish me luck and uh, thanks for watching my stuff um, I enjoy, uh, I enjoy the feedback and also like um, talking to people about it. So l let me know what you think. We'll catch up again soon. Okay, here we are. Huh? Put in a lucky last. There he is. I've just got a put a couple of put those doms from the roof on top, and I'm finished. Yeah, each ceiling batten, I think they're called battens, is now bolted down to the beam. I'm thinking of strapping them as well, but I think it's probably unnecessary considering the the bolts that I've used, lots of grip. Um, it's probably unnecessary to put a strap over the top as well. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, so I've got to put a couple of toms. There's a join there, I noticed, in the top ridge with nails. I'll put a couple of bolts through there. And then put a couple of toms on top. And uh, 
is all done. And time to knock that wall out. Alright, just an update. Hey guys, oh, all finished. Some of the dust on the lens, maybe. Oh. Yeah. All the beams are trussed. But just in case, I put a couple extra toms on top of the steel beam. All the rafters are bolted down with four inch bolts. Uh, and it's sitting on the wall here. Right there. And it's sitting on the wall right at the other end. Considering I've trussed the roof, <laughs> it's probably only just holding the ceiling. But hey. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't thinking of trussing the roof up to start with. Um, so, possibly could have trussed the entire roof, really bolted it up solid, and then put wood across here, possibly. Possibly. But better to be safe than sorry. This will be for here forever and a day. They ever come in here with a a front loader to bulldoze this house? They're in for one big shock <laughs> in in fifty years' time or so. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going home. I'm naked. I'm starting to shake. So, yeah. Now I put a new manhole in. A lot of places that. Chip rock is sagging, and there's like loads of sand up here, man. Look at it. Look at all that sand. Does that really come through the roof when the wind blows? I mean, I'm always tempted to get a, a big vacuum cleaner and vacuum it all up, man. There must be like 50 kilos of sand up right here. It's disgusting. Anyway, we're going home. Over and out.